here with Alex Rosen, the pedo hunter. I mean, you're known for going around and catching pedos. Quite a unusual, interesting job. But start out real quick before we get into that. I just saw you were at Pantera and Slayer last night. I'm like so jealous. Yeah, no. So um, we do catch child predators across the country. We have a group called Predator Poachers. We have arrests in 46 states, convictions in 40. And we were at Aftershock last night. Slayer does watch our channel. Oh, wow. Like despite their uh, despite their uh, pretty satanic yeah, imagery right. behind the scenes, they're actually very against it. And mm -hmm. um, you know, they like pedos being caught, so they're awesome. And they've supported us a lot over the past mm -hmm. couple of years. And um, yeah, so it's one of Tom's last concerts that he's doing, mm -hmm. and he had us backstage, and it was quite an honor. And uh, yeah, as a result, we were able to see Pantera. And, yeah, I love uh, Pantera too. Yeah, awesome. So much cooler when you get to meet the bands and go backstage. It's like for so fortunate, right? I've been, yeah, I've had the fortune through fighting, and now you're getting it through doing something you love. It's for, so much better, so cool. I know, I know. I'm getting like to meet your idols and shit. Right, right, exactly. Very cool people. But yeah, no, we were at Aftershock, and now we're here in Las Vegas. And after Aftershock, we. Um, we caught a pedo in Elk Grove, California. You did after the show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's hard worker. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I have a no vacation mm -hmm. policy, so e any anything fun has to come with mm -hmm. work. Like I, I can't just take a day yeah. off. Like it has to be just working stuff. But yeah, no, the pedo yesterday was waiting at the park for three hours for a twelve year old girl to show up, yeah. and um, yeah, he ends up getting arrested for child solicitation mm -hmm. and for narcotics possession. So it was uh, quite the catch. So how many years have you been doing this? So we started doing this in 2019, and uh, when I was 19 years old, I'm 24 now. And oh, you're only 24. Yeah, so young still. I look older, but it's hey, that man. Beard, I think. Yeah, beard and seeing dick pics for the past five years kind of <laughs> ages me and shit. So yeah, and having to pretend like you like it, like oh yeah, right, right, exactly. So what what got you into this? Just your dislike for pedos, or well, not even necessarily. It's more of just I always wanted to catch the bad guys since I was a kid. Like I've always wanted to be a cop. But in my family, there was no type of abuse or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Very PG rated growing up. So, yeah, so you weren't abused or anything. No, like no, that. luckily not. But um, yeah, just kind of seeing these videos when I was nineteen. Because I used to play college. Mm -hmm. I played college football for my first year in college. We had three weeks off going into, this, into the summer, and you know, I just started watching these types of videos online. And you know, I, I'd seen Chris Hansen before, but seeing like mm -hmm. regular people doing it was like, wow, this really struck struck a chord. So me being like a curious 19 year old, it's like, how common is this? So I throw out a fake decoy account, 15 mm -hmm. years old, 30 minutes later, somebody wants to go meet him for sex. And it was pretty mind blowing how common it was. Yeah. yeah. And now we're here. So interesting. Did you go more in the gay community or more with straight or both? Oh my God. It's like, it's endless both ways. Um, I think gays do it more, but most of my decoys at this mm -hmm. point are females. Yeah. Uh, so I have more chicks working for me. So we catch more straight people, but I would say with the gay people we get, they're almost always into child pornography, among other things. Like really young, you're talking about not like teen or? We catch, I would say probably um, over a fourth to half of the people we get are, in, are into or have seen child pornography of infants and toddlers. So I imagine it's probably a lot harder to catch the people that are into, as the kids get younger, it's probably harder. The teens get a little easier because they start looking older, but the young ones probably get really hard. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's just there's just so many like just lurking online into both that it's it's really not too hard to find them. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just whole groups on some of these apps like Signal and Telegram where they just congregate. I mean, we caught a guy in Louisiana um, mm -hmm. a few days ago, and he was in a group on Telegram called mm -hmm. Toddlers Only, where they're just Jesus. posting that shit. I didn't shit. know these existed, and I wish I didn't. That's just disgusting. Oh, it's so common. I, I hate to kind of like black pill people by saying this. It's not the intention, but mm -hmm. it's just reality. I think it's important to know. Like these are hard things to hear. These aren't the most fun conversations. It's like right. Talking about this stuff is not like a fun thing to do, but it's it's good to know it's out there. Especially you know I'm a father, have children, and shit. And it's right. like you really gotta protect your kids. There's a lot of sick people out there. Definitely. Yeah, and it's just you think it's like I said. Do you ever run into people that like molest their own kids and stuff? Absolutely. So just um, about a month ago, we caught. It, I mean, I'm sorry, we caught him last October, but he finally got convicted. Well, finally got sentenced like a month ago. We caught an individual named Kevin Cook in Jewel, Iowa. And most of the times we catch these people, we're posing as a kid online. Yeah. They come to go meet the kid, blah, 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 blah. But in this case, um, we noticed him online on Facebook. He was in like some group. They were posting kid stuff, not necessarily legal stuff, mm -hmm. but kid stuff, like kids in bikinis, like ra raunchy stuff. You obviously know the intention of it, but it's not technically illegal. Mm -hmm. And we saw him lurking there. Um, we ran his phone number, or at least what we thought was his phone number, to kind of see if he had any other apps that we think mm -hmm. go more than just bikinis. He didn't have those. So my decoy reaches out to me, uh, my decoy posing as like a father of a kid. He reaches out to me and he's like, Alex, should I go message this guy? Because what stuck out about Kevin Cook is 
he had a picture of him and his daughter like on his Facebook page. And we noticed on his banner, his daughter had like a on her chin. There was like a drop right here. And since he was on that group, we we're just assuming e either it was like a picture of what we assumed to be the worst or it was trying to communicate that he was something into that type of stuff. So we messaged him first as like a father and we're like, hey, uh, got into any groups like on Telegram or anything like that? And he's like, no, no. But are you close to Iowa? And we're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he and he basically invites us over to go, quote unquote, play with his own daughter, who's five years old at the time or six years old. Mm -hmm. And um, he invites us over on a Sunday or he says, come over on Sunday, like later in the week. Mm -hmm. That's when I get custody of her again. And obviously we don't want to show up with fucking cameras when his yeah, daughter's home. Out, so yeah. we showed up on Friday before her, his daughter came home. And, you know, I'm like, hey, Kevin, we got some messages to talk about. He instantly starts breaking down and, and he tries to tell me, I'm trying to do the same thing you're doing, blah, 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 blah. And I started asking him about his schedule, about his wife's schedule. Like, I don't know what came over me that day, but I was just a juggernaut. Yeah. And eventually, it, he, he just said enough to where his schedule lines up to where his daughter was going to be alone with him on Sunday because he was trying to maintain that wasn't the case. And he ends up admitting to molesting his own daughter to us. And um, his, Kevin, his name's Kevin Cook. He's currently in the Iowa Department of Corrections right now. He's doing 25-year 20, sentence. He has to serve at least 20 of that for molesting his daughter, incest, and having child pornography of his own daughter. Yeah, I just think of dads, you know, or parents, their job is to protect their ki children. This is just absolutely sick and disgusting that someone would do that. It's like, I almost just killed people. Yeah, no, <laughs> You no. probably agree. It's just like, that's like just the worst portrayal of your own children. I know. 20 years, sadly, isn't enough for him to be serving, but, I mean, it was on a plea deal. It wasn't the worst mm -hmm. sentence we've seen, but I wish it was quite longer. Do, you, do they seem like, um, I've heard this before, they almost always do it again or they can't really get rid of it? Do you find that to be true? They do not stop doing this. So, so they get out and just go again. Yeah, so since we're on the subject of Iowa... Um, we caught another guy this year, Mark Morgan in Dubuque, Iowa. Uh, we caught him in April mm -hmm. of this year. He's, I don't think he's back in prison yet. He's back in jail, but, um, he got out in 2023. He did 23 years for raping a nine-year-old girl Jeez. and, you know, he gets back out. He messages our 11 year old decoy account, like sometime early this year. He just got out and went right back to it. Pretty much. Pretty much. Like, yeah. Within a few months. Or yeah. Six months, it, mind you, this is like a he's 70... probably doing it before. As soon as he got out. If he... Oh, yeah. yeah he, he and before. mind you. So he, he went to jail when he was like 50. He gets out mm -hmm. when he's 70. He instantly starts knowing how to do the online stuff. Like, you know, no smartphones or anything. Yeah. He just knows how to do it. It just shows you like how, how into it he was. He was willing to go and learn. Exactly. Exactly. So we get him at home. Um, he has terrible messages to who he thinks is his 11 year old girl. And he has hundreds of images and videos of child pornography all within less than a year of getting out of prison. And he's back in jail right now. But yeah, and there's tons more examples. Like we caught a guy, um, James Brian Sattler in Ohio in 2021. He did 20 years for impregnating his own daughter. And, you know, he's while he's like on some type of probation or whatever, we get him messaging our little kid. So, yeah, basically, there's a lot of, there are a lot of sick people out there. <laughs> Is there any case that stands out? It's like a worst one. Well, um, I'd say the worst one we caught this year was Harry Phillips in League City, Texas. We caught him on August 21st and 21 years old. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know if we caught him the 21st. Maybe I'm just thinking that because 21. But we caught him sometime in August of this year. And what I noticed, the, the younger ones are the sickest ones because they have the longest time to offend, you know, for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. They have access to the sickest pornography you could think of because the boomers, like, yeah, they find some sick stuff, mm -hmm. but the ones that are young just know where to go and they all this all type the, of yeah. stuff. Right. Do so, you, do you have access to all the hardcore pornography is an issue? Absolutely. Besides, besides the child porn, like, other hardcore stuff as well? Yes. So, like, Harry. Harry's thing, so we can, we get a lot of people who are, you know, into infants, toddlers, or seen that stuff. Mm -hmm. It seems like Harry's preference was that. And I can't say most of the people we get their preference is that. Mm -hmm. They're into it, but their preference might be like 9 or 10 or something like that. Mm -hmm. But Harry, 21 years old, and his whole shtick, he wanted to meet a 12-year-old girl for sexual activities. And we get him. He So he's working at Domino's Pizza. He goes out of the way on like a delivery or something to come meet us. And... When I interview him, he ends up admitting to molesting a one and a two year old he was babysitting. And he got locked up for solicitation of a minor, which was going to meet the 12 year old for sex. Um, they haven't added the child porn charges yet because his phone might take a little bit to go through. And sadly, the kids he molested were in California. So I don't know how long that's going to take for that to happen, but I hope he's fucked. 
Yeah, I'm glad these guys confessed, but why would these guys confess? I was watching your videos and guys were just confessing to me. That's like, these guys are such idiots. Well, it, it's you basically- You do a good job though, I guess, of kind of playing like the friend and getting- Right, the, That's right. kind of a good cop you play. Yeah, you got to kind of, because you got to think, like I'm a pretty mm -hmm. big guy. So if they see someone my size coming at them mm -hmm. with their d deepest, darkest secret being exposed, mm -hmm. they're thinking, oh my God, it's going to be a dad with a baseball bat. It's going to be a cop. It's going to yeah. be a gun. But no, it's like a big guy coming at them, but saying, hey, man, let's just talk about this. And with someone young like Harry, the reason he talked to me is because it was like, look, man, if you were 50 years old with an ice cream truck, yeah. this would be different. You're 21. Let's get this turned mm -hmm. around. Because the younger ones, I mean, you know, his yeah. brain's not developed yet. Yeah, so he's and like, he was, okay, yeah. yeah. It's like I was basically preying on him. He was easier to manipulate. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it, it was, it's all about leverage. Like, you know, they don't have to talk to me, but – and basically implying what could happen if you don't talk mm -hmm. to me, saying this is the way out. Like it's throwing it's throwing them a false hope. It's like you know, it's like fucking Donald yeah, Trump so saying vote yeah. for me, pretty much. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, let's get into that later. That's, yeah, that's yeah, actually, yeah. actually a good topic. Yeah, but yeah, I know it's just uh, it's just baffling. Do you train any martial arts? These guys attack you. I know you're big, but still, some guys know how to fight. See, you can't you can't carry a gun, correct? Because you go too many different states, so you can't really get a conceal. Well, in the states, we can carry. We do okay, carry. So you can in some. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely would do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, no, I, I've taken a few jujitsu classes, but you travel a lot, so it's hard. But I would definitely, if you get time, I'd I recommend that just if you did like a year, it would make a big difference. Oh, I, unfortunately, I so the agree. first few months don't really have a huge upswing because you're learning, but then it starts having a big upswing. Yeah, but it takes like after six months to really start having results because the first six months is just like confusing. But it would definitely, if you get a chance, I would recommend doing that because you good chance you're going to be getting attacked. <laughs> I 100% agree, but. I mean, the, the good part is, you know, I don't train jujitsu, but neither do the pedos. That's so it's like, yeah, I guess most pedos aren't training jujitsu. No, no. If, but you know, honestly, if one did, I mean, I could be in a pretty fucked up situation. No, as I'm saying, so it'd be probably pretty smart. I mean, you're a big guy, so you'll beat some people, but if you run into someone small that knows how to fight, oh, yeah. Problem. Yeah. No, we took a few, we took a few classes like earlier or like a month or so ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the guy lives like 10 minutes from my house and he just trained us for free for a few classes. Yeah. Yeah, well, him being 185 mm -hmm. pounds didn't really matter. But he it's just kind of a wake up call, right? When oh, someone yeah. smaller just beats the crap out yes, of you, you're like, yes, whoa, yes, absolutely. But yeah, honestly, to get fully good at jitsu, take a while, but you could probably learn a couple holds for street fights within like two weeks. Right. If you get any good at jitsu, it's going to take, like I said, like a year, but you actually could probably have it for street defense in like two weeks. Yeah, no, I chokes, definitely picked up on grabs. some things in those few classes. Like I know to kind of always like try to try to gain the side of them. Versus like being up front, that that itself could definitely help. Yeah, always like, go to side or back if you can. Yep, exactly. Take down, get on top. But yeah, it's a it's a, it's a whole another whole other thing. Do you think there's um separate subject? Do you think there's like a lot of like organized uh, child uh, child pornography stuff? Yes. So there's a lot of stuff that goes around that are called quote unquote series mm -hmm. of basically this girl being abused and tons of different videos and this and that, and you know these girls get spread around. Like or this, this, the same so particular the same girl, girl around. yeah, or boy can get spread around like to different corners of the mm -hmm. world. Like we just had a case recently, Justin Cripps in Gulfport, Mississippi. He just got sentenced a, a few days ago. Um, shit, started the trip eight, October seventh, and um, yeah, we caught him in twenty twenty two. He never got charged with the child pornography because they couldn't really say if it was his or his dad's, which what a fucked up family, right? But he was going. Up. I bet it happens a lot where it gets passed on. Oh yeah, that's kind of the sad part of it. It's hereditary. A lot of these people were actually abused. Yeah, I, I think it's but hereditary. It still doesn't justify it. Or it could ratify it, or it could be because they're abused. Could be either. Good point. Well, the the way I look at that is, um, you know, there's tons of a lot of people that follow our channel and like support us financially were abused as kids, mm -hmm. and the last thing they would do is go harm a kid. And they, in fact, you know, they hate it so much. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that's why I asked for your abuse. I know some guys are abused and they absolutely like they want to kill pedos. Right, that's why right. It's like a common thing. I, they either like turn that way or they just have absolute hatred for him. Right. And, and I think it's, I, I think that is hereditary because, you know, same with being gay. And I know mm -hmm. me being conservative, like it's not, yeah, this isn't too popular to say as a conservative, mm -hmm. but I think people can definitely be born gay and people can be influenced to be I that think, way I too. I think it's a mix. I, I think, think it's a mix too. Born, maybe, I think a lot of them, I was reading about 50% were malign. I, oh, hundred percent. So obviously it's not like yeah. the only factor, but it's a factor. Right. Right. Cause like, put it this way, I've seen. So I've seen way more dick pics and vagina pictures in my life at this point, sadly. But That's I have <laughs> right. But I have no gay tendencies, no gay thoughts. And there's nothing that'll happen to me that's going to turn me gay. However, yeah, there point. can be somebody that's more susceptible to it that they might have not been gay if nothing happened to them, mm -hmm. but that turns them gay because they have a. I, I think that that can experiences can bring out what's in them dormantly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, personally, I'm not going to go through a gay phase and suck a dick. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I think. 
I think sexuality with men is a lot stronger. You get a lot of girls that will go lesbian for a second. You don't really see it with men very often. Right. Like they're gay or straight. A hundred. Yep. Yeah. Speak, do you see a lot more um, molestation with gay? I saw a couple of cases come to mind where I've seen these like families adopting them and passing their kids out to get molested and just absolutely disgusted me. Do you think that happens a lot or do you think it's pretty evenly between uh, gays and non-gays? Well, the people we catch, we catch more um, non-gays because I have more females working we, yeah. for me than uh, males. Yeah. But as for like the amount of people doing it, I think gay people definitely do it at a higher rate, you know, per capita. Yeah. You know, from what I've read, that's what seems. You're not supposed to say that. But that's what appears appears from what I read. Yeah, no, 100. percent Like, I mean, shit. Harry Phillips, the guy that uh, we caught in League City, Texas. I mean, the two people he molested were boys, so one and two years old. So yeah, it's it's. It's very common. I mean, we caught another guy, Dominic Barbagallo, in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, in December of last year. And he was also a babysitter, and he uh, molested a nonverbal three-year-old boy who was babysitting. So, yeah, they. I think the people in the super, super young like boys. Interesting. Yeah, that's uh, that's strange. <laughs> but um, switch topic a little bit. What, what do you think of things like um, – Pizzagate, you think it's total nonsense or think there's a little bit of truth to it? Because I thought it was nonsense when I looked into it, and there's some weird things in there. I'm not saying it's all true by any means, but, like, I don't know if you just saw what it was. People, it was, like, their Instagrams and their emails. Yeah. And all those weird stuff with kids. And uh, Well, I will say we identify – I will say we've identified people as being in a child porn – by just mm-hmm. them having a pizza emoji in their bio. So that, that is really a symbol. The pizza. That is absolutely a symbol. That's absolutely a symbol. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we can just message somebody saying pizza, like, with a with a question mark. Mm-hmm. And if they're like, yep, I like that, we don't even have to, like, talk to them any further. I mean, we caught a guy last year in Los Lunas, New Mexico, Thomas Medina. This is just an example I can think of off the top of my head. But, you know, I talked to him as a fake pedo pretty mm-hmm. much. And the conversation with him probably was, like, three or four lines. And I'm like... Hey man, pizza question mark? And he's like, yeah. He had his real name on his profile, and dude, we went to his store. He confesses to child pornography. The cops sees his phone. I think they still have not got into it yet, but um, you know, he's fucked. Whenever they finally mm-hmm. crack it, so yeah, very easy. And as for Pizzagate being real or not, I mean, do I think the elites are pedophiles? I think a lot of them are. So mm-hmm. I don't really know the details too much of Pizzagate, but I'm, it's worth looking down the rabbit holes. When I looked down it, yeah. I thought it was BS, and I looked down it. And there's some. I'm not saying it's all real, but there's some disturbing stuff in there. You probably already see enough disturbing stuff, but these people were posting all these little kids on their Instagram. Yeah, talking yeah. About, like killing and, t- and jokes, and it's too weird to be jokes, in my opinion. Then Alephantis being the pizza like, stuff. yeah, yeah. J, J, I love, I love like infants. James Alephantis. So yeah, I've mm-hmm. seen that, and then that gunshot um, that magically just hit some server or something within the store, mm-hmm. right? Something like that. So I don't know the details on that, but I don't think I'm probably gonna have to cut this out of YouTube. So yeah, anyone watching should watch this on Rumble because I've, I've already had a pull, couple episodes pulled down. Oh well, shit. If we're on YouTube, no, oh, we'll, Pizzagate we'll, we'll was just, so <laughs> fake. Okay. Okay, it never happened. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely those crazy conspiracy theories. Oh, of those idiots! <laughs> I think parts yeah. of it were fake, and they might have put the fake parts in on purpose to distract people. That well, it, yeah, that that's what that is pure propaganda right there. The best, um, the best propaganda mm-hmm. is truth mixed in with lies. Like it's like the Q shit too. It's like yeah, mm-hmm. some shit Q has said has come true, but in the end, people are sitting on their ass waiting for it to happen. So yeah, the Q stuff's kind of ridiculous. I got these guys that are still saying trust the plan. It already didn't happen with Trump, and now they're being like he's gonna take out. Israel. He gets in and it's getting on, <laughs> it's getting on like a little yeah. schizophrenic. I know, right, you're, right. I know you're Jewish, but I don't think you're a huge supporter of Israel. As far yeah, as I know. you know, fuck Israel, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So, yeah. it's. I mean, I've, I've, I've Jewish friends that support Israel, but personally, I fucking think they suck and America shouldn't support them. No, 100%. Like, I don't really give a shit if a Jew have their whole homeland. Like, mm-hmm. the idea of it, I don't really yeah. care about. You know, my homeland's America, you know. <laughs> as some people like to make fun of i was born here but you know my family's been here for quite a while and you know but the thing is it, the actions have just been fucking terrible like yeah, i I, like, I don't insane. think you as a christian would defend you know say if no. lebanon was subverting our country if lebanon mm-hmm. was taking all of our money if lebanon was you know doing the uss liberty mm-hmm. you wouldn't say you wouldn't say well it's okay because lebanon's christian no not at all it, the country has just been absolutely terrible to us mm-hmm. and you know, I, I think they're a big part, if not the part, behind 9 And I mean, <laughs> you're the first obvious. you ever heard say that. I mean, I agree with you, but I just, I've heard the guys, you know, do the APAC and stuff, but not mention 9 I mean, you just can't deny dancing. Oh, cool, dude. Dancing yeah, 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 guys, just we'll, we'll follow us on Rumble. Follow us on Rumble. Yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, it crazy? Yeah. I've had episodes, you know, move for talking about this stuff when it's real. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I've noticed a lot of like the actual anti Semites on Twitter, because there are guys that actually don't like Jews. They, they accuse me of it, but I'm not. I've noticed they, they kind of like do even. I'm like, oh, they like this guy for some reason. I think it's because you joke around and you can see that they're not our fucking, they're not our ally. Well, yeah, it's just being mm-hmm. objective. Like, you know, I don't think. Mm-hmm. 
all person, all people of any group are bad. Yeah, like, obviously. You know, I say, I say, and, you know, I mm -hmm. think a lot of blacks commit way too much crime. Yeah. And I think a lot of, you know, as I say, my fellow mm -hmm. white men um, are, you know, snarky and, you know, are pushing bullshit. But obviously, I know not everybody of every race is, is terrible, but noticing patterns, there's nothing wrong with that. 100% agree. You nailed it. Like you said, with the same thing of black crime, of course they commit crime. That's not racist. It's just the truth. Right, right. And yeah, and the whole, like you said, the that you can't say that. It's absolutely ridiculous. They're trying to tell me I can't say a word. Like they, they say it all the time. Like, oh, you're not allowed to say that unless you have a pass. So I, I went and got passes from the whitest people I know, the Hodge twins, Tristan Tate, nice, uh, nice. <laughs> just to like fuck with people. Right, right. Between the three of them, I think that's a whole inward pass. Yeah, and you know, as far as I know, you know, white people invented the word and Jews were the ones that brought the slaves over. So I can definitely say. <laughs> you brought them here and invented it. Yes, exactly, ancestors. exactly. The word's only possible because of my people, so they should thank me for it. Yeah, but people DMing me, like, challenge me to fights for saying it and stuff. And it's like, bro, I'm just going to beat you up. So why do, why do you want to get beat up <laughs> they were a word? It's like, come on, I'm not racist. It's like a freaking word that you say all the time. Right. Which is a weird idea that I can't say a word because I'm white. And, and there's so much and there's so many, much more context behind it mm -hmm. than just black people. Like, dude, anybody that's anybody that cuts me off on the highway, like, it could be some Indian woman. Never. She cuts me off. I'm like, oh, these fucking niggers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't use fat for gay people either. You know? Right, like right. Being a fat, I'm usually not referring to a gay person. Right, and when I say bitch, I'm not talking about a female dog most of the time. Exactly. So it's, it's I don't know, it's like people's logic just goes out the window with that shit. It's, yeah, people will just lose it. It's like, it's weird. It's like, they've been brainwashed to say it, but the rappers will say it over and over. There was one, I forget who, he brought a white girl up on stage and they're rapping a song yeah. and she sings along and he stops and starts like scolding her. It's like Kendrick Lamar or something. And that's who it was, Kendrick was. Lamar. Yeah. It's like, that's just so petty and pathetic. I know. And you, you know what? And th I guess we'll probably touch on the subject, too. Mm -hmm. But it goes to the thing. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar did that. But that bitch should have never fucking apologized. And I think white people are mm -hmm. way too castrated. I think Christianity is too castrated. Like, I'll give an example. And, you know, this is this is why I think it's easy to blame shit like subversion on things, mm -hmm. which, of course, because, you know, I blame the yeah. drug dealer and the it's drug real, user. But you can't just blame it. Exactly. Exactly. Like. We had a guy we caught in Oregon in 2023, Jeffrey Miller. We caught him in Huntington, mm -hmm. Oregon. And it, it, the bus took a while. I mean, the cops took forever to get mm -hmm. out. So at that point, we are just waiting for them. He knew they were coming. But I was talking to this lady who lived down the street. Very small community, like 500 people in there. Like, God fear. Like, Eastern Oregon mm -hmm. is not like Portland. It's like a whole different world yeah, out I've, there. Yeah, I've, I've been to Oregon a bunch, and it's Portland's insane. Yes. And you go out, and it's all it's completely uh, right wing and then left wing. It's, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It, California's the same, too. People think California is all liberal. It's not. Right, right. I mean, you're probably just more conservative parts of it. Right, exactly. So th this lady, you know, she's talking about, like, how the pastor, like, this, and mind you, this guy's on the registry for raping a 10-year-old. Mm -hmm. The pastor led him back into church, said to give him a second chance, and, of course, he starts hitting on minors again. And, you know, th and that's what I notice a lot. For forgiveness is taught as a good thing mm -hmm. rather than it could be it could be a bad or a good thing, but it's always taught as a good thing. And I think people I think Christians need to nut up and just start doing something about this. Yeah, that was shameful. The it was a while ago, so I didn't follow us close. But that Catholic priest scandal that wasn't like I don't know the details behind it, but wasn't it like hundreds, if not like thousands of kids. They covered it up, molested, raped. Yeah, it was just absolutely shameful. Yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, it, I think it was in Pennsylvania or something like that mm -hmm. in that area, but. I, I don't know. I just think people need to take accountability for shit that happens. No, exactly. It's, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, like, if it's Christians, you know, white people. If someone's doing something bad, you should call them out. My people do dumb shit, and I call them out when, when they do it. Oh, exactly. I mean, shit, I talk about, obviously, 9-11 a lot. But, you know, and we get told sometimes, like, oh, my God, you only catch white people, which totally isn't fucking true, by the way, or that we never catch Jews, which we definitely it's do catch. Someone said it's because you're a Jew. You're only catching the white people. Yeah, which isn't true. I mean, we do it. <laughs> no. We do catch these. We caught a guy named Hunter Morrow in August of this year. And I know, like, the last name doesn't have Jew, but, like, he was definitely fucking Jew. His mom was. Mm. We caught a guy, Way Wayman Ward. I guess he more of identified as, like, a rabbi mm. or something like that. But we got him arrested in Georgia earlier this year. We caught a guy in 2023 named Shlomo, Shlomo? In, in New York. <laughs> and, like, Shlomo Gold or something. Like, mm. I, you couldn't have come up with a more stereotypical Jew name. And, like, I mean... He got cuffed. His phone got seized. I'm not sure on his status, but I mean, you know, he got fucking exposed, and you know, we called the cops on him, all that shit. So. Well, the black people probably don't use the the apps as much either. Exactly, so there might be less of that. So right, maybe it's not what you're targeting. It's what's easier to get. Well, d yes, exactly. Like in the online space, there's definitely an overrepresentation of white people, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean in the hoods that you know Pookie and Ray Ray aren't yeah. porking their 13 year old little cousin and shit like that. They're just not doing it online. Yeah, I think kids are left more alone in the hood, so it's easier to get them that way. Yeah, 100. percent Like you know, it, it is definitely mm -hmm. a myth that people don't molest kids because they do. I mean, well, I've heard this from there's cops more themselves. gay black people than 
white people. That's kind of how you know. Or if, if my theory is true, which I'm pretty sure it is, of them, you know, kids black are likely to be gay. Yeah. Because it's surprising how many get black people are gay is not looked upon in the culture. Right, right. No, that's that's definitely that's definitely true. Um, I just think in the hood it's just so underreported because no, you know they're agree. just taught like don't go to the cops, don't go to the cops. Mm -hmm. But I mean, dude, even if you look at the sex offender registries, I mean, blacks are still a little bit more overrepresented than uh, whites yeah. are. So. so that's when people try to say it's a white thing. It's like give me a break. Same a thing, thing with like the school shootings, the mass shootings. Right. They try to play it out like that, but they're not. Well, I think the school shootings are a white thing because I think most of the FBI is made up of white people. So um, yeah, maybe the MK Ultra. <laughs> yeah, <and> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, mass shootings are definitely mostly black people and. Mm -hmm. um, it's just because there are mostly white mm -hmm. people. They just try to pin it on, mm -hmm. you know, I guess explaining per capita the average person. is just they, they don't understand that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, more ser serial killers per capita are black even. That's something most Oh, people I didn't even know that. Yeah, most people don't know that because they always see the, the white ones are the ones the media push. The media, yeah. The, your people in the media. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So, okay, that I didn't even know myself, but I mean, I, I, I don't... I don't know. It's not by that. a lot, I don't think, but like a little bit. And you, because you're always told it's white people, it's white people. Right. But, Back to the uh, the pedo hunting. Yeah, I saw. I remember this. I saw a week, two, couple weeks ago. You were some guy. I don't know exactly what he did, but went and shot himself. That was pretty heavy. What um, what did he do? What led to that? What are your feelings about that? That was an interesting situation. Well, so I'm actually, I'm going to be writing him in for president this year. Donald Letcher. He killed himself in South Dakota. He was a pedo he caught mm -hmm. because he's the only person that I would trust to save the taxpayers' money, and that's exactly what he did. Killing himself. But, yes, yeah. yes. But so, no, so, he was a fucking piece of shit. So this guy was messaging our 12-year-old decoy. Mm -hmm. he, lives, he lived in Epiphany, South Dakota, mm -hmm. in Hanson County, funny enough, where Chris Hansen, well, it's not where Chris mm -hmm. Hansen is, but, you know, Hanson County. And the county next to him was called Minor County. So oh, it's Jesus. like, I know, right? But um, so he was messaging our 12-year-old decoy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know we were talking about this a little bit off camera, mm -hmm. but, you know, we talk about the child porn stuff. So we came to his house to bust him for child pornography. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because he was kind of – it's some of these law, the laws in a lot of these states are very narrowly defined, meaning mm -hmm. like there needs to be very specific things said for them to go to jail. Mm -hmm. Like if they call a 12 year old sexy online, that's not illegal. Yeah. If they, if they even ask a 12 year old mm -hmm. for naked pics, that's not necessarily illegal in a lot of states. Like South Dakota is kind of a gray area for yeah. that. Like I read the law. I couldn't even come to a conclusion whether that was illegal or not mm -hmm. what he was doing with that. And the cops don't want to mess with gray area stuff. I would imagine. Right. Right. They want easy shit. Exactly. So he had this, he had telegram and you know, I know people like, you know, the CEO of Telegram getting arrested. I think that was bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, but Telegram, nonetheless, still a very big hub for child pornography, indisputable. And um, there's no way to trace the people back from the Telegrams. I guess there's not, huh? No, and that's kind of um, that's the excuse they used to arrest him. But obviously, it was because of political shit. Yeah. It wasn't because of fucking CP, as if they give a shit about that. But um, yeah, so he had Telegram. So I'm like, all right, we're gonna just go to his house, see if he has child pornography, because this guy isn't going anywhere else, like with the messages or anything. So we go to his home. Um, he admits to child pornography of infants all the way up. Mm -hmm. And um, very smooth bust. He was very cooperative. He was eating out of my hand. And, um, you know, cops show up, mm -hmm. and it was very smooth. But I'm talking to the cop on the side, and that's when uh, Donald slips into his home, and we hear a little pop. And then my, you know, my fucking yeah. camera guy goes to, the, goes to the fucking window like a content fiend. And he's like, damn bro no way and he sees <laughs> he sees his body on the floor oh with a with a bullet hole in was this it. aired live or no well you don't put it live do you or it, this was aired live but luckily luckily the, the glare was too much on the mm -hmm. window to see to see on the inside so i didn't even see the body myself but you know, my camera guy did and luckily he's fine um so yeah he ends up dying from his own bullet wound um to his head and the thing is with donald so, you know, he gets busted for the child porn, killed himself because of it. Turns out he was convicted in 1996 of touching a nine-year-old girl. And the South Dakota Supreme Court threw that shit out because of, like, a prosecutorial mm -hmm. error. Like, he fucking did it. But the prosecutor, like, wouldn't let a witness come up, so the Supreme Court threw it all out. Damn. So this dude should have been a sex offender, but he was basically an unregistered sex offender. Damn. And so I think he knew that his whole history was going to come back to him because of this. And yeah, yeah so he, he just figured it off himself. Yeah. Makes, makes it simpler, probably. Saves the taxpayers' money. And you know what's mm -hmm. crazy is the head of South Dakota ICAC, um, Internet Crimes Against Children, he showed up. And, you know, small state, so they were kind of overseeing all that shit. And he chewed me out saying, because of you, I can't hold him accountable. 
he just got held accountable. What do you right, mean? right. <laughs> he held himself accountable. Exactly. And I'm like, well, and I didn't even and, know, you know this. He, until- he might have known he was evil and just been like, it's time to put myself away. You know, maybe maybe, he was, so. maybe he was struggling with the terrible shit he did and knew it was better just to end himself. Or he I, didn't want to deal with the jail. It could have been that. You know, I think probably not dealing with jail. I will say there's a You're few. Probably right. It probably wasn't him. It, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. They, yeah, they. I would say we've caught one person who actually self reflected genuinely. Mm. And, I mean, he deserves to fucking die like the rest of them. But we caught a guy, Steve Holland, in Wenatchee, Washington, in 2022. And he's currently still in prison in Washington right now, two years later. Which, in Washington, that's a very long sentence, mind you. But he was a sex offender for molesting. Um, no? Wait. I don't know if... I want to say it was for child porn or for... I forgot what he was a sex offender for. But we caught him with child pornography. He was messaging one of our decoys. And he actually willingly turned himself in. And he admitted to a five-year-old victim that Jesus. was not on, that was undetected. Like, he was just spilling he just, it he all. Just thought she needed help or something and realized he messed up. Y- yeah. No, he's just like, I deserve to be in jail. I'm, I'm a menace. I don't like being this way. So he just walked himself to the police station. And once he walked um, into those doors, he never went back out. And he's currently doing, I don't know how many years in Washington, but yeah. Yeah. Do you ever have like mental health issues from constantly dealing with this, or do you just love it? And- Dude, so I'm able to see, like, you know, I, I drop n- all the time. So I really have a thick skin <laughs> to words. Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit if people. People make fun of you and talk right, shit online. Some right. people get like so offended by that, but to me, I think it's funny. Oh, it's great. So I've, I've always been that way since I was a kid. Like, I've never been offended at shit. So I kind of take that with what the pedos say. Like, if they're admitting to sick shit, like Harry Phillips saying, a one year old, this and that. You know, it sucks to hear. I don't want to hear it. I don't want it to exist. Mm-hmm. But if, I, if I'm hearing them say that, that means I'm doing a good job because that means mm-hmm. those kids are going to get some form of justice, never going to be full justice. But it means I'm doing a good job. So I can listen to this shit for a couple hours if it means, you know, they're going to stop doing what they're doing, at least temporarily. So, yeah, and I'm able to separate, you know, what they say versus what for, with what the job is. Like, to me, it's like a mental chess match. I have fun mm-hmm. with it. And, you know, I employ my friends from high school. They're my camera guys. So mm-hmm. it's, you know, we're able to joke about shit. So yeah, I like you're that. only 24. And if, and if you said, if you're, your friend, if you're around your friends, everything's so much better. 100%. Like when fighting, when I was training with people that I liked, it's so much easier to go to the training. If I didn't like the team, the people, it was so hard to go to training. Oh, yeah. That's Dude, just, even just lifting weights, like, oh, yeah. you dread it being alone. But with your friends, like, all right, let's just go knock Dude, it I out. I hate lifting alone, but I go with friends and knock out because then you're just talking as you're lifting. And you yeah. get a better workout by myself. I'm just like, oh, this is so boring. Yep, exactly. So it's so important surrounding yourself by people you enjoy being with. That's what I'm so fortunate I don't work a regular job when I can only only put myself around people I want to be with. Oh, I know, I know. And so I don't know what mental uh, issues we'd have if it wasn't the case, but mm-hmm. I think based on whatever circumstances and how we are, I mean, I've never been to therapy for this, so I don't think I need it. I mean, therapy's kind of gay. It, it is so gay. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say therapy would be the answer, but just, yeah, if you struggle I, with yeah, it. Yeah, I guess the more politically correct podcast, do you go to therapy for this? Yeah, shut up, shut up, <laughs> <laughs> I guess with an MMA fighter, yeah. probably shut bring up, up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like I said, I'm around people I want to be around. I invite people I want to talk to on the right, podcast. Right. Great doing doing working for yourself. I'm like, oh, he looks cool. I want to talk to him. Yeah, no, it's fucking awesome being here, and I, and I like that. There's a cool little um, community on Twitter that's just kind of a. No, I don't think Twitter's fully taking the culture back, but it's kind of normalizing just saying whatever the fuck you want to say at this point. I love We've it. We definitely moved the needle a lot. You yeah, know? like things have changed a lot on, on a lot of different things. You know, like early on when I was attacking the train. Stuff. I got so much hate. People were scared to like my post on Instagram, but I just kept pushing it. And now it's like a popular view, especially like the anti trans kids, anti trans athletes. But people were scared to speak out on that like four years ago. People people forget. I was one of the first to start speaking out on that. And it, all of a sudden, more and more people start coming. So it shows we can make a difference with what we do on Right. And you're, you're bringing awareness to the pedo thing and the joking around. You joke around about lots of things. I think it's important to be like, we're done with this political bullshit. Dude, 100%. Like now, like a few years ago, if I said, a live stream mm-hmm. or whatever i lose i would lose my career lose my channel lose my socials but and i did it did yeah. happen to me but now you know i say n- tries to get on me for i'm like dude george Floyd died four years ago get the fuck over you fucking nigger mm-hmm. i'm like dude it, it's great now and I'm, I'm just dropping it like this and nobody's gonna come at me for it well it's so ridiculous because they give a perfect example of this mma industry right yeah they give some white guys a pass like perfect example of my good friend nate diaz well he's he's part half mexican half white right but he says it all the time like oh he gets a pass because he's kind of hood, you know? And then right. like Mike Perry, another like fully white guy, or say 2% black, he gets a pass. I'm like, okay, how do you guys choose who gets passed and who doesn't? Go fuck yourself. Oh, it, it's it's insane. Like, and, and, and Tristan and the Hot Twins gave him to me, so I'm good. Right, right, right. Between the three of them, they're black. Right. Yeah, dude, between the three of them, they're actually over one person black. They're one and a half people yeah. black. I mean, they're super they're black. They're probably about a third each between those three, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's one, one full black. Yeah, yeah we'll true, true, true. But they gave me a lot of them, so I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> a lifetime supply. So. Oh, man, man, that, that that's cool, bro. They so I, think, I think I can give them out, too. Is that how it works? Can I give them out when I have extra? 
Shit, is it like buying food stamps, kind of? <laughs> <laughs> no, but just the whole thing's such a joke when you start talking about the rules, the passes. I think some people are like serious with the passes. We're obviously fucking around, but yeah. some guys are like, they take this shit seriously. Like, come on. Yeah, no, it, it's crazy. And like, you know, obviously God and the Constitution, you know, well, God gives me that right to say it, and the Constitution reinforces it. So I don't, you know, I don't do the whole pass thing. Obviously, no. it's a joke I do. But no, exactly. Like, yeah. It's the same here as a joke. And it's like, it doesn't mean you're racist for saying it. Yeah, do some racist people say it? I'm sure they do. But when I say that bad shit, I'm not being racist and against gay people. I'm just right. using words that right. I want to use. Right, exactly. I don't like people telling me what words I can use, especially when they say it all the time. If they didn't say it either, I'd go along with it. If it was like a word that like no one said, I'd be like, okay, fine. Yeah, and you know, my favorite thing is like the whole history behind the word. It's like, all right, well, what about the history behind the word word murder? Like, what if my great great uncle got murdered or something? What? Mm -hmm. can you, oh, you can't say murder around me, bro, because my great great uncle got murdered. Like, it's it's just so dumb. It's so yeah. dumb. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. So uh, uh, back to the pe pedo hunt, and then we'll move on. Last thing, I think it was before the podcast started. We we're talking about how you're pretty much traveling every day. You're just constantly every on the road. Every day. That's insane. But you said you love what you do. You love catching. I lo yes, I do love it. I mean, I'm currently like on a couple hours of sleep right now. Mm -hmm. So we, I guess I said at the beginning, yeah. but yeah, we drove nine hours from Sacramento mm -hmm. overnight. And um, after seeing Pantera, Slayer, and then catching a pedo, that's crazy. Yep, seeing Slayer, then slaying a pedo, and. Yeah, then the night before that, we drove overnight from L.A. to Sacramento. Mm -hmm. um, so we pull a lot of all-nighters. Um, I think the trip before this, we pulled like seven or eight all-nighters just in the car. But, you know, we're 24 years old. we got to take advantage of that. Yeah, you can pull all-nighters. I mean, I'm in my 40s, and I still can pull all-nighters. So yeah. Some, yeah. People have, some people have more energy than others. So Exactly. But yeah, you might as well take advantage of it. And is it something um, – you're the only one I know. Is there a lot of people doing this now, or what's uh... – Yeah, there is a good amount of people doing it, which I think is good. Um, there's a group, Bikers Against Predators. They do it. Mm -hmm. They're based out of Indiana, but they go nationwide too. Not as much as we do, yeah. you know. But um, yeah, he, he um, yeah, he's he's awesome. He does a great mm -hmm. job. People like Predator Cashers Indianapolis are also out of Indiana. Um, CC Unit, he's in SoCal. So there's a lot of good people doing it. Yeah. Where can people uh, donate to your cause? So I don't forget to ask in the end. <laughs> oh God. Well, it's funny sure the non jew Brings right. up money and donating first. Right. Well, we're backwards here. You're, yeah. you're, you're bringing up 9/11. I'm <laughs> getting you true, money. True. True. Um, <laughs> Well, y'all can follow us on Rumble, rumble.com, mm -hmm. just Predator Poachers, P-R-E-D-A-T-O-R space P-O-A-C-H-E-R-S. And, you know, if you follow us on there, that helps a lot. And there's like a members only thing you can click on if you want to support us financially. But I would say watch what we do first and watch how we work before you make that yeah, decision. So you're not for money first. You're for the love of it first, money second. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. In like, the long run, that's more sustainable. People hate people that are just trying to grind money out of them. No, 100%. And, like, don't get me wrong. If like, you want money, yeah, give yeah, me some money. I, but yeah. Like, yeah. Five kids and at least five acres. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna put money first before getting a pedo convicted. Mm -hmm. Like we have videos that are such terrible quality, but the pedo makes a sick admission on camera. But the camera's like all the way over there and just looks choppy. And yeah, it doesn't get a lot of views. But it's the most important thing is getting them convicted. Now, of course, we could have a whole cinematic production with the pedo saying, you know, the shit he needs to say to go to jail. And absolutely, but you know, we're not for that first. Yeah, like I, said, I just started following you recently, but I noticed you're pretty popular. It seems like a lot of people uh, appreciate the work you do. So that probably feels good that people appreciate that you're doing something uh, beneficial to society. Yeah, and it, it's a team effort. Like, we're doing what we need to do most of the time. And, you know, the cops, a lot of cops, like, you know, they get shit for, like, oh, why are the cops doing this? Well, their hands are tied, but the cops that do take up our case are very passionate about it. And, dude, even the people supporting us that are just, like, I mean, they give us the means to do it. Like, I, if I had nobody supporting what we do, I couldn't just come to Las Vegas yeah. and do all this. So, yeah, yeah it was random. I like, DM'd you like a week ago, and you're like, "Oh, I'm being Vegas." We're yeah, like, going to do my podcast ever, and you're like, "In Vegas next week." I'm like, "Perfect." Yeah, Let's exactly. Knock it out. So it turned out good. So it, it really is a team effort. Like, I want people to know that when they see the cuffs go on, when they see like a, you know, a life sentence or a 20 year sentence, mm -hmm. like you know, they played a small part, and it wasn't just us. Yeah. And hopefully, this will make pedos think twice too, realizing that hey, I might be going to jail. Uh, I wish it did probably too. Not. No, but... they, yeah, they're probably not going to stop. Actually, wishful thinking on my part. They yeah, can't really stop, huh? I wish I could tell you um, that we've caught no subscribers to our channel, but sadly, we've caught uh, quite a few subscribers to our channel. Like we caught a guy, uh, we caught a guy. A uh, god damn it, what was his name? I think Chris or Curtis Blevins in Kingsport, Tennessee. Dude watches me on Rumble, knows my name. He's like, I know your tricks, Alex, and he still confesses the child porn anyway. But <laughs> not, not the brightest, apparently. Right? No, he wasn't. But um. I don't think he's been arrested yet, sadly. But yeah, I mean, we've caught people. Do the cops when they work with you? Or are they against you? Or it depends on what town you're in? Or how's that work? Um, easiest answer is depends on the town. Mm -hmm. But I think most of them do work with us. I mean, most of the police probably do. We probably get pushed back from the higher ups, maybe telling you they don't want you doing it, or do they want you doing it? Yeah, very, very few times there are any pushback from the mm -hmm. cops that show up on scene. Mm -hmm. But 
there's not too much pushback from the higher ups either. I mean, of course, if we go to a place like like in Houston, Texas, where I'm from, we barely do anything in Houston because the higher ups don't like us there. But you know, we go to like Sacramento County in California. Surprisingly, Sacramento mm-hmm. County, you know, they just cuff our guys. And yeah, they, California is. There's parts of it are super conservative. Like I said, it's not like uh, liberal like everyone thinks. It's just the cities that are right. L A, San Francisco. You go inland, it's pretty conservative. Oh yeah, no, like San Francisco, we don't even bo- like we don't even bother with the Bay Area. They I just lived there for anything. almost 20 years and just completely yeah, they they won't do anything. It probably just probably, went downhill. Yeah. You probably saw it go downhill in real time big big time it was just crazy watching a city collapse in real time god damn and it sucks man san francisco is so beautiful it's probably one of those beautiful cities in the world it's, it's the architecture the beauty the bay it's absolutely stunning but it's just complete shithole i know i know and you know i think republicans and democrats are the same federally but locally i mean dude you don't want like a democrat I, fucking I, I agree with you a lot it matters a lot more in the local elections and the freaking federal election doesn't make much of a difference uh i'm not sure when this will air i kind of backed up but uh but do you plan on voting for uh for trump or kamala no i'm, I'm writing in my Jimmy Carter, <laughs> like Jimmy Carter is not going to spend any of my Jimmy Carter sending mm-hmm. none of my money to Israel. Jimmy Carter is going to not or do Ukraine. anything in office. Yeah, Jimmy Carter doesn't mm-hmm. even know what any of it is, so he wouldn't do any of that stuff. But no, I'm legitimately going to write in Jimmy Carter. Yeah, I'm thinking at this point I'm gonna probably going to skip it out too. I've been going back and forth because I hate Kamala. There's no way I'm voting for her. Right, Trump right. has just been such a fucking disappointment. I get people angry at me a lot because most of my followers are Trump supporters and they're like so yes. furious at me. Do you get that too? Well, okay. So on Instagram, I lost like twelve thousand followers for calling the assassination fake. And you met you met my Twitter guy outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, I don't I don't run my Twitter. Yeah. Like I of course give videos. He does, he does well, dude. He's fucking. He's insane. hilarious. Right. So I thought you were funny. It was him. I should have had him on. Can well, I bring him back? <laughs> well, all the videos okay, we okay, post point, are me fucking doing it. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no. Like I keep up with some of the video ideas. I come up with most of them, FYI. Mm-hmm. But okay, okay. Um, I'll give you a little credit then. Yeah, but the captions and shit. You know, that's all him and mm-hmm. shit. You know, we were we're a good team. But you know, I tell him like, dude, you should just come out and say the assassination attempt was fake. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, nah, bro, I don't want to lose these, these followers. followers. Yeah. And so if people are listening from Twitter, you can unfollow me if you think it's fake. But on Instagram, I lost yeah. a ton for calling it fake. And it's so obvious to me the assassination attempt was fake because I was thinking about voting for Trump Mm -hmm. despite all the bullshit until July 13th Mm -hmm. when that clearly bullshit attempt on his life happened Mm -hmm. and he had no scarring on his ear. First of all, no Secret Service agent. The protocol, uh, uh, dude. No Secret Service on the rooftop. Yeah. <laughs> there was a ladder up there. It's right, like, huh? right. And, you know, all these midwit, like, D.C. Drano followers are like, it was an inside job by the FBI because. Cat, cat turd. And- yeah, they, they all let it happen. I'm like, okay. It's mm-hmm. obviously to show that Trump is, like, the hero, mm-hmm. playing the hero, and it's to make it look like they're against him. But they're obviously all the same team because look at Trump's first term. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Anybody that pushes that poison shot needs to be tried for crimes against humanity. And, um, you know, obviously the shit he's getting prosecuted for, prosecuted for, he's Mm -hmm. not going to jail. But like the Stormy Daniel, nobody gives a fuck about that. that. Right. They did actually go after him a little too much, which I think that's kind of ridiculous. I think there are people that legitimately hate him. Right. But he didn't drain no swamp. Like like you said, the vaccine. He pushed. He shut the country down. I know he wasn't as bad as Democrats, but he's the one that shut the country down. I was strongly against that. Everyone was like, we didn't know better at the time. I'm like, well, I knew better. Well, I knew better. Right, Why right. can't Trump knew better? And I was looking through that. I wasn't retarded. I was looking through the data in, like, uh, where was it, Italy first. Well, so it's like we did know. The experts were lying. Trump went along with it. I don't think he wanted to lock the country down, but he went along with it. Then he pushed the vaccine. Like, I, I don't hate the guy, but I can't, like, I can't, you know, simp for him like these guys. Right. Well, what's so funny is, like, the same people that call Trump a 4D chess player, <laughs> um, a 77 million D chess player, all this stuff, they also just think, well, Trump had no idea. They tricked him. So is he playing 4D That's chess what, exactly. or did he get fucking tricked? Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, and you know, that assassination attempt was, I don't know about the second mm-hmm. one, but the first one was definitely fake. I mean, no FBI, no Secret Service is letting your man just like, hold on, hold on, do the fist pump thing. They mm-hmm. the, for, the protocol is you got to drag their ass out of there, throw them in the car no matter what. Mm-hmm. And the hot mic, which they p- clearly put out on purpose, of them saying "target down, target down," dude, nobody says that. Yeah, I, the first I assumed five, six, it was real because of the head turn. But you mentioned some interesting points. You, well, was there was there no grays on his ear? No, and you, and you I heard people like, say that, but I didn't go and look into that. Right, two weeks later, just like, I thought if, it, if it was a real bandage. bullet, they couldn't have staged that. But if there was no real bullet fired, then was. that was why I thought it was real. Because if a real bullet was fired, I'm like, it has to be real. If he turned his head, but if there was no fucking bullet, then that turns a little. Right, well, they shot people behind him, but I guess it could have been a different. Uh, like, well, I mean, dude, look at 9 11. I mean, yeah, look at yeah, those they, people. They, they no, I, I'm aware of those stage shit. Yeah, yeah, they stage shit all the time and kill people. Mm-hmm. But um, they yeah. anti-Semitic here. Oh God. Well, I think the. This time to yeah. not kill yeah. Trump, yeah. but yeah, no, yeah. Uh, good point. But yeah, like they said, target down, target down. First of all, 
you don't just say target down. You got to scan for more. You got to scan for more people doing mm-hmm. this. You don't just say, oh, the guy's be a second down. shooter. Yeah, right, hundred percent. A good chance for a second shooter. Like, why wouldn't there be? Right, right. And you know what was crazy to me is, you know, did you see the clip of Trump walking into the hospital? I didn't see that. No. Okay, so in in the hospital he goes into first of all he goes through the front doors of the hospital mm-hmm. which if you if you're a presidential candidate with an assassination attempt you're not getting you're not getting put through the front doors of the fucking hospital walking mm-hmm. in like that and the only reason we knew he went through the front doors is because they allowed people in the lobby to film him going through Jeez. that doesn't make any type of sense no, not at all and you know it's like some bullshit like mm-hmm. vertically film something like oh my god he's walking in and then at the very last second of that video everybody starts cheering and mm-hmm. you see a guy in a wheelchair just stand up and do this and you know i know people <laughs> in wheelchairs can get up sometimes like greg abbott i mean that dude but it almost seemed walk. like stage yeah right right but it's if you were just shot at and you were the president you're getting through the back of the hospital you're not going through the front doors oh, yeah, I agree. so tons of shit wrong with that mm-hmm. and you know, look, look, look what Trump can push. He can get away with the vaccine. He can get away with, you know, gay shit in the Republican Party mm-hmm. because, oh, my God, he's he's not he's not one of them because he got shot at. He's more likely to pass anti, uh, anti-free speech laws. Yeah, Because the, the Democrats already want him, but the Republicans are resistant. But they'll like they follow him like a god. Right. Like, right. I remember, like, I criticized Trump and Jesus. I, I would never criticize Jesus again. Right, I right. don't want to attack people's religions. I was being stupid. Right. I lost more followers when I attacked Trump than Jesus. Oh, 100%. How insane is that? Right. And, you know, that's the thing, too. Like, they just think, oh, my God, Biden or Kamala is going to put us in the New World Order. Dude, they want the whole country on board with it. The de- mm-hmm. You know, Libtars. Kam- Kamala's horrible, too, by the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, we e- both agree on that, Evil right? piece of yeah. shit. But yeah, she's awful, too. But Yeah. But that's that's all she is. She's just an awful mm-hmm. piece of shit human being who probably is too dumb to do anything mm-hmm. else. Trump is a manipulating, deceiving, conniving fuck. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the Libtars are always going to go with the New World Order. It doesn't really matter. But Kamala can't get us to agree with the New World Order. Exactly. But, but Trump, Trump can. can get, yeah. And people just, it's just alien to people. You know, they just can't comprehend that. Yeah, our followers aren't going to like this. I think I'm happy to get this out for the election now. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, gonna... you should, you should, yeah, you should. I think I, I, think I can. I'm a little backed up. I think we got it right for the election because our followers will not be happy with this. But it's it's true. Yeah, and like the, the shit he did, and he also he didn't pardon uh, Julian Assange, right? Edward Snowden, the January 6 protesters that he encouraged. He did encourage them. Let's admit it. I mean, kind of yeah, at least. Yeah. And those dudes are doing like 20 years in jail and stuff. Well, and he didn't pardon any of them. He could have well, done a blanket pardon. Well, did you see who was on the uh, Epstein list? Uh, no. Exactly. Because he point. never fucking released it. He didn't release the JFK. He, right. said, he said he was going to release those files, didn't release those. Right, um, right. You know, he just did. He, everyone's always like, oh, his life was so much better under Trump. Like, no, it wasn't. It's the same under Trump and the same under Biden. Like, I make my own life. I mean, yeah, yeah. Inf- yeah inflation was bad, but inflation started from cutting the country down for COVID. And the right. Money they both did that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And yeah, and of course, Biden didn't do anything to make it better. No, but, Biden's absolutely terrible, too. So yeah. It's not like, it's just too. What's what is South Park? It's like a shit sandwich and a douche. The truth, uh, picking between is like that's, that's the truth. Right, right. And, and they're mad that I don't want to pick their shit candidate. Yeah, exactly. And like that, and you're and you're exactly right too. I mean, we're talking about politics here, but in the end, mm-hmm. my life got so much better under Joe Biden, and yeah. not because of Joe Biden, because of what but you just do, because yeah. I've just been working hard and you know doing my own shit. It, like. We should be at a point where the only time politics matter is April 15th, where we get fucked with taxes no matter what. But other than that, I mean, you should create your own life and, you know, serve your purpose to where you don't really care what goes on in Washington. Mm -hmm. Just care about the local stuff. But, you know, I don't spend my days thinking about Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Like, I'm like, Mm -hmm. I got a pedo to catch. And that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. If you're if you're like crying when the president gets elected because your candidate didn't win, you you need to reassess your life. Exactly. People are not making your life. Right. That's a delusion. Your life shit because of you, you know. Right. You can be, I've been successful in both economies. Yeah, I, yeah, me too. And like you said, and you're building now. So you're becoming successful now. You're still young, but you're building. It made no difference with Biden. It's gonna make no difference if it's Trump. Yeah, a little difference. Exactly. And you know, when people are like, "Oh my gosh, I don't have ten dollars in my account because of Joe Biden." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, obviously, he, but inflation is bad. It's inflation a is I'm not bad. Gonna say that's not a problem. Right. I do pretty well. I do feel bad when I go to grocery stores. I see the prices sometimes. I'm like, damn, this is like. If you're on a tight budget, that's it's tough. But it, you can't just blame Biden for that. Trump was responsible for printing money too. Right, right. And you know, if you're like you're what you're 45 or something yeah. like that. If mm-hmm. you're 45, and you are penny pinching 10 bucks mm-hmm. in your account, dude, you made so many life choices mm-hmm. up to that point to not to you just made so many dumb decisions up to that point, and you know, offloading that onto the president mm-hmm. is fucking retarded. Yeah, no, I definitely yeah, I agree with you a lot more on Trump than I expected. You look like kind of a Trump guy. And people, yeah. people think we're both Trump guys, I think, because they get mad when I'm not. So No, I'm just right wing, not a Trump guy. Yeah, exactly. I'm right leaning. But there's some stuff that I'm not like I think the kind of the right left paradigm is kind of stupid, but I guess overall I'm right, because like that 
that weird like train stuff they push and just nonsense the open borders but the republicans don't really close the borders no. Remember, they act like they were going to close them but they, instead they had an emergency meeting and they were trying to get border money money for ukraine and israel. they cut the border off and did the ukrainian package separate and just left the border yeah yeah in mike johnson's mm -hmm. first words when he got when he got into as the house speaker were mm -hmm. like now to fund now to help now to get back on track to help our biggest ally is my like, mm -hmm. god damn dude i just want to take your ass and, and that's like all trump talks about too is it Panders oh. to fucking to Jews, but not you. It doesn't help you. It only helps Israel. It doesn't it's only the elite, but it helps. That's people don't understand. It doesn't help out a common person like you. Right, right. And I'll say, dude, I'll say most of the common Jews are just like, obviously they're entranced to Israel too, saying it's okay. They really help mm -hmm. us because if you know if they don't uh if if Israel doesn't fight them, they're gonna come mm -hmm. attack us. I'm like, all right, you're just yeah, just retarded. It's just, <laughs> brain, it's just brainwashed. Yeah, yeah. But at that point, it's like, what are you gonna do? Because I know, I know some of Jewish friends think just that, like that. They're not bad people. They're right. Not, they buy the propaganda. Right. That, yeah, that's what it is. Like I, you know, I know there's like a lot of Jews in academia too and all that stuff. Like, dude, I got a, I got a cousin who's like some university professor, and she's a fucking insufferable bitch. And you know, talking to her, she doesn't want the smoke with debating us anymore. Mm -hmm. Like me and my cousin, you know. In Houston, she's from out of town. But, you know, every time she's tried to debate us, we shred her ass to pieces. And she, you know, she genuinely thinks, like, little kids should be forced vaccinated. And Jesus. I don't know if that's, <clears throat> and I don't know if that's her or just her snarkiness. And this probably comes with the genetics or something like that. But, you know, she genuinely thinks she's doing good. And I think that's, like, a lot of the, uh, a lot of mm -hmm. are so, like, in a bubble and pretentious that they just mm -hmm. think they're doing good. But obviously the elite ones, like in Hollywood and yeah, the porn industry, are evil and shit. Yeah. another one by telling, oh, everyone hates you. Anti I think they're purposely trying to cause some of this anti-Semitism. I think they're, like, being brutal in Israel, doing things, manipulating, cutting people's speech. So they're, they're making people, they, they want anti-Semitism because that's what, you know, makes Israel. Oh, yeah. And, like, if you go up to a Jew and be like, you know, hey, like, I mean, I joke with my mom about this. And, you know, obviously she's not pulling any fucking strings. But I'm like, yeah. hey, mom, good news. The Hollywood happen and she gets mad at me for saying yeah, that i'm right. like mom why would you why would that be why are you mad Wouldn't at me be a great it's, thing? it's great yeah. news six <laughs> right right <laughs> but it's like you know a lot of so conditioned mm -hmm. to just be like they like they use as a crush mm -hmm. it's almost like good it happened to them like fucking ben shapiro yeah. like i'm sure when ben shapiro found out that 40 babies were not thrown in ovens mm -hmm. on october mad, 7th yeah. he's probably like oh my god fuck like <laughs> no you're right because now you couldn't use it right yeah you know, they use is a crutch too like my orcas he the so someone was, was, was grilling about the border and he's like my parents survived the it's just like dude no one fucking cares shut yeah. up that was like 80 years ago just like get over it right right just like you know black people like i was slaves like we don't care i'm sure white people were fucked along the way somewhere too that's just life yeah yeah dude there was yeah and you know that shit doesn't even go only to races of people getting fucked i mean there's family lines that have been fucked i mean you know i think I think you have it a lot worse if your grandparents were murdered mm -hmm. than if your great, 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 great parents were slaves. So, I mean, it mm -hmm. really doesn't even go down to races with, like, my reparations and all that mm -hmm. crap. But Yeah, and it's all stupid. And like I said, but they do get massive reparations for the Holocaust still. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of them. I mean, I haven't gotten any reparations. They don't give you yet. that money? Yeah. yeah you got to tell me you're a survivor. You look a little bit older. You might pull it off. True, true, Dye true. your beard gray and be like, I'm a survivor. <laughs> well, I'm not a liar, so I can't say I'm a survivor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to bezel things too Damn. much. But... <laughs> you're, not, you're not being a good oh, I'm, not, I'm not hiring you for my attorney. <laughs> yes, yes. But, yeah, no, I mean, I think, like, obviously Jews were put into camps, but, I mean, oh, yeah, I, six yeah. minutes and fucking was a <laughs> can't dude. say that because I'll get up. Uh, be called a Austin denier and been banned from uh, YouTube. and But you can say it, I think. Right, right. I we, mean, we should be able to question it. The idea that we can't question it, yeah. we want to question it. Right. And like, it, it should be, it, I mean, it should be a good thing to d deny it happening. I mean, because it, it means you just can't, yeah, right. you, you know, all that death didn't happen. It's a good thing. And, you know, same thing with like Sandy Hook and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if I'm like, good news, no kids were shot. People get mad about that. Yeah. Like, it why is a great it, thing. It, it should be a great thing. I believe you should be able to deny everything. That, that's my right. take on it. You yeah. I can't deny something. It's kind of like I can't say that word. It's like, fuck you. Yeah. And, you know, I think a lot of, um, you know, I think the reason why we call the right and left the same, because the, the, the right and left are not the same. Like, mm -hmm. I think we need a far right wing government. Mm -hmm. But so many of these right wing accounts, they're not full on with free speech. Like, yeah, no. they want, oh, you're two genders and, you know, maybe you should mm -hmm. question the vaccine. But, like, you know, when it comes to, you know, questioning shit like the Holocaust, yep. none of conservative ink coming out and saying, they're coming out saying, hey, can we unsuspend this account mm -hmm. before questioning this? Or can we unsuspend this account for saying nigger? Dude, it's just the right wing that's the mainstream right wing is the same as the left wing. They're terrible. And I wasn't really aware of that until actually uh, October. 
because I was kind of consider myself a Republican, and I kind of never fully go to a, a category, yeah. but because I was like anti-war, free speech. Right, right, right. And then October 7th, and all of a sudden, they jumped trying to fund this war, because we were all about not funding Ukraine, right? Mm-hmm. No funding foreign wars. I thought that was that was our deal. Right. And then, oh, we got to fund this one. And they started talking about laws against anti-Semitism. It's like, huh? I, I have a right to hate someone if I want. And their, their, their anti-Semitism isn't even hating them. It's just like criticizing. Right. And even if I want to hate a Jew, I have that right. Someone should have, they have a constitutional right to not like people. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. And I, I really think, um, I, I really think a lot of this shit, the, kind of the same thing they're doing with Trump, like the, f- the fake prosecutions mm-hmm. and all that. A lot of the shit with the anti-Semitism laws, like, dude, the last thing you are is fucking stupid. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we're not fucking retarded. And I think a lot of these evil Jews are mm-hmm. on purpose. Like, you know, there's no way Jonathan Greenblatt doesn't know the ADL fucking, you know, causes oh, more causing, hatred. Sure right. He, yeah. he knows this shit, but... It, it, it benefits him more and it benefits mm-hmm. you know it gives it gives them an excuse to just tell the midwits and the peons like oh mm-hmm. my god look how prosecuted we are mm-hmm. like if i was the king of the the first thing i'd do is fucking end the adl and yeah, you know adl like, apac yes US congress like why do they need a hundred different freaking organizations wait what's apac um the, the ones that control oh uh, wait what finances. what what's that i don't know what you're talking <laughs> about but yeah exactly and like i didn't even know it was 98 of congress they fund 98 percent of congress they fund until like recently it's insane just yeah, like just completely manipulate our government, laughing in our faces, and we're just supposed to. And if you question it, you're an anti-Semite. Yeah, like, I'm gonna have to cut this off YouTube, I'm sure too. I know. I think this whole thing needs to just be thrown off YouTube. Yeah, right. But, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll put like 30 minutes on, and then you know, try to push with a rumble. I think that's what I gotta start doing. Cause I've already gotten a couple. I've already gotten in trouble. Well, you said you got how many counts pulled down for your pedo counts? Okay, you definitely cannot put this part on YouTube because I don't want. I don't want to admit Pissed that. Like, off. yeah, yeah. Like, I don't. I don't want to say. I don't want to say like, hey, YouTube, I'm on there, but you know, you got to. Oh, because you're back on now. Right, right. So just um, we've had seven. But what's the reasoning? So a lot of it is harass. You can't bully and harass pedos. Well, see. So the thing is, like, some of the, some of it was definitely like me screaming in their face. Mm-hmm. Like in the early days, we weren't as you're polished with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the recent ones that have been taken down because of that, I mean, it's such bullshit. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm objectively having a sit down conversation with them and, like, you know, just interviewing them. Yeah. And, you know, they consider it that. Yeah, you're good at, like, coming across, like, friendly. I watched a couple of your videos, you know, for them. You're like, oh, you do a good job. Of, like, I'm thinking these guys are so idiots to confessing, but you're still doing a good job of, like, oh, that's how we're going to deal with this. And these guys, idiots, start, like, telling you what they're doing and showing you their phones. I'm like, oh, these guys are idiots. Yep. It's, 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 it's soft power. Like, you got to, you know, you, I just used my. Social engineering genetics for a good thing. <laughs> Born with it, right? It's gotta be yeah, use it for good <laughs> yes, <and> evil. <laughs> yes. But um yeah, it's all about like it's more beneficial to give me the passcode to your phone because a lot of uh, I tell them too, it, it's basically like the um I, I call it I call it the Trump Harris or the Trump Biden effect. So when I if they're coming to meet a kid for sex, I like to always question them like, look, man, the chats tell me it was gonna happen, but you tell me, were you gonna force yourself on this kid or were you just gonna be or are, you, or are you just going to let let it up to her? Mm-hmm. And if they answer that question in any of those two ways, they're incriminating themselves. Yeah, either way, they're incriminating themselves. Right. So and they're, either they're, way, they're, they're, they're not related. They all let it up to her. That's still admitting you're right. going to do it. And you, so no matter who you vote for, it's fucking yourself some way, mm-hmm. somehow. It's the same thing. So it's same with like with a child porn. It's like, look, man, did you create any of this stuff yourself? Or mm-hmm. or did some idiot just send this to you? Yeah. And any, any answer to that is... It's incrimination, yeah. Right. So... So yeah, let's switch up to another controversial subject. Go on, go <laughs> I on. Saw, um, I kind of missed the, the trend, but there was like a few weeks ago, there was just everyone was making fun of Indians. I kind of, I kind of missed that. I'm like, where did that come from? So I'm from San Francisco. The Indians there weren't that bad, but everyone's just going hard in Indians. And I saw you doing. What are you having people sign? It was something huh. you get an Indian guy. What are you trying to do? I'll, I'll give you the backstory. So, um, you know the account Barry Stanton. I do. Is that where it all came from? Yes. Yeah, so got, his account was just so funny to me. It was hilarious. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the humor. Yeah, it was great. And he he got this, like, I mean, I feel bad for the grandpa, but he just got this random mm-hmm. grandpa in England and just put, like, a little Hitler stash on him and views that as his profile That was picture. his profile, yeah. Yeah, I, was like, I just feel so bad for that guy, that though. That so hilarious. Yeah, it was so, so funny. But, uh, you know, he was posting all this funny shit. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about the Indians, <laughs> And I thought it was all funny. I don't yeah, know who knows funny. what he even was. It was right. He was just fucking around. Right, right. And, you know, he got mass reported and taken down. So that didn't sit right with me at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's my favorite account on I think Twitter. that's what caused the Indian War, right? Like, when, once he got taken down, then everyone just went after the Indians. Right, right. So um, I made this. So I, I had the idea to make a video mm-hmm. of a petition to bring Barry Stanton back. 
So I went to convenience stores in Houston because obviously the Indi- the convenience store Indians are they don't follow yeah. on Twitter. So I'm like, hey, this Barry Stanton guy, he's a huge advocate for the Indian community. Can you sign this petition <laughs> to bring him back on Twitter? And just getting Indians to sign to bring Barry Stanton back really just pissed yeah, that was them the off. Video I saw. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of what started it all. And then from there, you know, they just kept like saying they're gonna fuck my mom and say they're gonna rape my yeah. kids that I don't quite have yet, mm-hmm. and all this and all this stuff. And they're just so vile. So yeah. I made another one, basically, you know, I, and they're they're so they're genuinely so stupid. <laughs> like they thought I would dox my mom's house on fucking camera, which I obviously didn't do. I found a house in this neighborhood for sale. And I'm Is like, that was your mom's? I'm at my mom's house right now, and I put an anti pajit mm-hmm. force field around the house, aka just putting toilet paper in the mm-hmm. front lawn. And dude, that sent them into a blaze, dude. So. It turned out the Indians have no sense of humor. No, they, they don't. They don't. All the, all they can just talk about is fucking my mom. So. Yeah, I've had, I've had the Jews pretty hard, but not the Indians. The Indians aren't quite as smart. They're not as good at getting you demonetized and all that <laughs> and all that good stuff. Right, right. Well, the Indians, all they do is just like mass report, huh? Mass report, like the know to just like go after the advertisers. Yeah, and, yes, yes. Specifically, bombard one person who knows you, but like, yeah, the Jews. The, the, Kind of like the Russians when fighting war, they just throw pe- throw shit out there, and you know, it's over the there's best. There's a lot of them. I think what, right, there's, right. there's uh, over a billion of them. I guess a lot of them are probably on Twitter. That's yeah, they're mass reporting people getting them suspended. Yeah, yeah, that, that they have group chats where they mass report people. Like I don't know if you've seen that, but I did see some of the mass reporting, and that should be banned, and isn't it like against Twitter rules? But they kind of allow it anyways. It seems like it's so weird. Like I, I wanted to, yeah. I don't know why Elon Musk looks the other way on that. Like, mm-hmm. I wanted to. This is another one my Twitter guy rejected. I had an awesome tweet for him to post. And, you know, I was like, guys, I've come to the conclusion that this organization called APAC runs Twitter, <laughs> the American Indian Pajit Affairs <laughs> Committee. And, like, my guy, my Twitter guy he met outside, he was like, no, 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 I don't want to get mass reported. And I'm just like, you fucking nigga. All right. And, and so, yeah. Yeah, I never got in the war with the Indians. I'm like, I'm already in war with the Jews. I better stay out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need yeah. two groups trying to take me out. Right, right. But maybe I'll get it next time it comes around. Right. I wasn't quite sure where it was all coming from. I thought it was hilarious, but I wasn't quite. I'm like, what is all this Indian stuff? Yeah, you, you were I good. I was laughing. Yes, but... you were good You were good mm-hmm. to stay out of that one. Yeah, cause... maybe I'll stay out of this war. I already have a lot of people after me. Did you the get gays demonet- are already trying to get yeah, demonetized, and they weren't. They never gave a reason. God damn it. But you have the subscriptions, though, right? Yeah, I have that still. But the demonetization, I was getting pretty good money on there, which is kind of yeah, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that is. Because I, I know how to piss people off, so I get a lot of engagement. Like, yeah, I just, yeah, I, yeah. I know how to get people really mad. Sometimes I'm like bored. Like, what can I do to piss people off today? Dude, exactly. It's just fun. Some people don't have a thick skin. They're like, how do you handle online hate? I'm like, it's not real. I've never had a person from like online come up and like be upset. They want like picture. The people that are like, yes. I hate you so much. Yes. They'll see you and want like a picture. Because I've had like friends rat them out when they're doing it before, or guys like, can you unblock me? I'm like, well, why did I block you? I don't right. block people much even more. I'm like, well, I must have blocked you from reasons. So I don't block people that often. Yeah, like. And we were at the, uh, I was at the Olympia helping my friend Eric Konevsky film some mm-hmm. pranks today, and <clears throat> I probably had like twenty people recognize who I was. Mm-hmm. And so you, you recognize know, a lot, then that's yeah, you're getting pretty big. Yeah, hopefully the pedos don't start doing that. But <laughs> good point. Um, you know, we get recognized pretty mm-hmm. often at this point, especially at some event like that. But I mean, yeah. in in public, certain like, events you'll get recognized a lot yeah. more. Like yeah, I imagine Olympia, I'd probably get recognized a lot because the bodybuilders, I would guess. But who knows? right, you right. Go, that's tomorrow. Are you going tomorrow too, or no? Yeah, yeah. You might go there. Where is that? The um, Convention center, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure I can get some tickets. But, so, but yeah. yeah, I mean, none of those people have come up to me and said, how dare you said this online? It's all like, hey, man, thanks for what you do. It's yeah. like, yeah. And people think like, oh, no, like, no, black people love me too. They think, oh, black guys are going to fight you. I'm like, no, dude, like, black people get along really great. Yeah. They respect guys that aren't little cuck bitches. They don't want some white guy washing their feet. Dude, that, that, yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's exactly what it is too. Like, I've definitely had people unfollow me on Instagram because mm-hmm. I like say, Nick there a lot you can't say er you gotta say just oh, on instagram yeah, gotta, gotta, uh, yeah but that's <clears throat> one of those games you can say the a but you can't say the r oh, it's like come on that, guys. That, do you realize how dumb you are yeah that's that's, that's one of my favorites but mm-hmm. you know there's a lot of people now when i post a video on instagram they're like hey my name and they're like black you know yeah, right. there's a lot that do respect it no a lot a lot do they're a few that mad but a lot of respect it when you're just normal treat them most people just want to be treated normal. When you get right. these like, liberal, like white guys or white people that kiss black people's ass, they, they despise them. Yeah. Like during BLM, I was in San Francisco and all that oh. was like kissing black people's ass. But then like I'm the one that's actually getting along with the black people. And all the liberals thought I was like the racist one. They're like confused. I'm like, no, they don't fucking like you people. They like me because I call them out on their bullshit. Right, right. They were probably mm-hmm. l- literally kissing their ass in San Francisco. Yeah, like kissing, washing their feet. And like it was just the most cringe, embarrassing thing I've ever th- seen. I had black friends like showing me messages. Friends had sent them just the most cringe, over the top stuff ever, like apologizing to them about past like uh what they call the microaggressions and stuff it's like oh my god this is embarrassing like how do you even respond to that dude these people need to be thrown in concentration camps and i'm not even being exaggerated like <laughs> like i used to i used to and this is like a thing like 
I used to be so on board with like blaming the elites, like, oh, mm-hmm. the WEF, Klaus Schwab, oh my God, the and this and that. Mm-hmm. But dude, it is these people would have no power. And they, you know, they, they yeah. need their time and, coming And too. they're the one manipulating these people, but the people go along with it. It's a problem. It's like, dude, like I didn't get manipulated, you know. No, exactly. We're not manipulated, so you can't really give these people a pass. Right. It's like the useful idiot. Like a general mm-hmm. doesn't a general has no power without his army. Mm-hmm. And you know, <clears throat> wars aren't won by fucking taking the general out. They're won by taking the army out. And mm-hmm. we, there's an army of useful idiots for these elites that we got to deal with. And, you know, whether dealing with them, you know, by ca- conversations or whatever, but they need to be dealt with, dude. Yeah, I mean, we are, we are pushing. We've changed things a lot in the last, like, five years with Twitter. And, I like, think th- so. Things have changed a lot. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but, like, the shit you can get away with now, especially when Elon took over, like, like I said, I would get taxed nonstop for making fun of trans and stuff. Now I can put, now everyone's doing that. That's, like, that's like mainstream, stuff like that. A, lot, a lot's changed. What's your opinion on Elon Musk? Uh, mixed. It's like, I think he does some good things. I think Twitter's great. I hope he keeps it free speech. It me sucks too. he demonetized me, but I mean, I don't think he did it, but it's probably, uh, probably some Jew at the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully get that back. I think, you know, I have a Tesla. They're good cars, I think. Um, I think he does a lot of good. I think it's mixed, but I think he knows he's dealing with powerful people, so he has to cuck a little bit. Yeah, that that definitely could be a thing, too. Like, well, definitely what's might your have. your opinion? Do you think he's uh, corrupt? Well, I think he is. I think he is a little bit corrupt. Like, mm. it, I understand the whole cucking thing. Even if Trump is just cucking and he's not actually still embarrassing, it is embarrassing. But you know they're in a position where they can really step up and be a leader, Mm -hmm. and they're not doing it. Both of them can. Yeah, they have the power to stand up against the global elite, and neither one are doing it. Right. Neither. Neither one are doing it. But that being said, Mm -hmm. um, is Twitter better than it was three years ago? Yeah, way better. Yeah, because I used to get banned all the time and. Damn. I've, only, I've only been suspended once since uh, Elon took over. <laughs> only been suspended once. Shame, <laughs> yeah, shame. Cause I, yeah, because I called for the um, what did I call for the public execution of like the doctors that uh that groom the sex changes in children. Oh, I and I, 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 I spent seven days for that, and I hold by that statement. Yeah, yeah, like that's what I think too. Like, Trin is obviously mentally ill, mm-hmm. but the doctors need to go to yeah. jail for that. And yeah, even, the even, ones doing the kids, I don't think you do it to adults, but if they're doing it to kids, then they're. They should be in jail. Well, I mean, I used to just think it's just, you know, the kids, to, mm-hmm. the, the kids, but when, once you're 18. But I don't think once you're in your second semester of high school, senior year, you should be mm-hmm. able to do it. Like, I, I think any doctor that voluntarily chops mm-hmm. your dick off needs to go to jail. Yeah, I've changed my position, so it shouldn't be allowed at all. You don't need, I can't go chop my arm off at a doctor. Right. So I should be able to chop my uh, dick off. I used right. to be like, oh, leave the kids alone. And I'm like, we don't need to do a period. It wouldn't be on the kids if it wasn't an option. Yeah. This yeah. needs to be shut down. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of um, conservatives don't realize that. You know, if you just cut it off at the kids, but leave it for mm-hmm. the adults, the predictable outcome is it goes to the kids next, no matter what. The slippery slope was, argument was real. I used to think it was like stupid. Me like, too. Oh, gay marriage. I'm like, this is retarded. Let them get married. And then you see after that, they started going after the kids, this, that. And you're like, wow, maybe these guys are right with the slippery, slippery slope. Maybe right. You have to set the line somewhere. Right. Like, I'm not even a, like, look, if two, if two gay guys mm-hmm. want to get together mm-hmm. and get the tax benefits of being mm-hmm. married, that's fine with me. They had that before. They were calling it something else. Civil unions. Yeah, they civil had to union. make it a marriage. Yeah. It's like, why? Like, I, I am all for, I'm all for civil unions. Like, mm-hmm. you know, less taxes, the better. I don't really care. But, um, no, calling it marriage mm-hmm. was a massive mistake. And 15-year-old me, when it got legalized, I was like, yeah, the government's getting out of this. But, dude, now, I used to just think the government needs to be out of everything. But now I think the government needs to be used for um, our agenda. Mm-hmm. And I'm not ashamed to say that because it's only because the left uses it for theirs. No, exactly. You almost have to fight back. The right doesn't want to fight back hard enough. And the left is like ruthless. They do all kinds of things. It's like, maybe we need to fight back with their tactics. It's hard to do when they do such dishonorable stuff, like evil things, like trying to put people thir- in jail for 30 years for a protest. Cause yeah. we, we never do that to black life matter protesters, but they're doing it to us. So it's like, do you, fi- how, what do you do? Do you just let them destroy you or do you fight back? Right. And they have no problem like calling, you know, somebody mm-hmm. making $15 an hour. They don't, they have no problem calling their job to get them fired. Mm-hmm. But d- I still could not bring myself, like if some left away threatened my life or something, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, fuck you, Alex. You know, I hope you die. You know, if I found out where they work, I'd still have a tough time yeah. calling their job. And, you know, if they threatened like my family or something, different story, but myself, I would just, and if I didn't think it was a real threat, I would just ignore it. Yeah. I mean, I get death threats a good amount. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the Indians probably give you a few of those. Dude, yeah. Indians are very scary people, dude. They're very, they're very big, physically intimidating. They're, I'm just Yeah, they're, they're, they're terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, shit. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I guess let's wrap this up. So real quick, people can find you. Your Twitter is just, what is it, uh, Alex uh, Rosen in your Twitter? Or what's your Yeah, Twitter the Twitter's my Twitter and Instagram is I-F-I-G-H-T-F-O-R-K-I-D-S. I fight for kids. I fight and, for kids, okay. And um, our um, rumble is Predator Poachers, P-R-E-D-A-T-O-R space P-O-A-C-H-E-R-S. 
So if you're watching, um, follow us on there. And if you're not subscribed to Jake yet, follow him. He um, awesome, yeah. uh, really oh, yeah, fun time. Yeah, follow my Twitter and Rumble too. I always forget to say that. So yeah, and uh, Jake shows AJJ on Twitter. That's a, I talk a ton of shit. So yes. hey man, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, yep. man. Yeah.